Thank you for listening to Staff Infection. If you like me this much and you're still listening, come see my ass live. For God's sakes, I'm doing a whole Filth Queen tour starting in Madison, Wisconsin, October 5th to 7th. Then I'm in Calgary, Alberta, October 12th to 14th. Vegas, I'm at Wise Guys. Come see me October 20th to 21st. Then I'll be at San Diego, La Jolla, the Comedy Store, October 27th to 29th. And then guess what? I'm doing three little fucking theaters. And I really want you to come see me to these theaters. One night only at these places. I'll be at the Miracle Theater in Washington, November 10th. Brooklyn, New York, I'll be at... um, I'm at it somewhere. I, I can't think of the name right now, but I'm in New York on November 11th. God damn it. Then I'm going to be in Somerville, Boston. I'll be at the Crystal Ballroom on November 12th. Please come to those three fucking shows. And then my big goddamn show in Toronto, guys. It's 80% sold out. I really want to sell this fucker out. November, December 14th. Fuck me up the ass. There's too many to read out loud. At the Danforth Music Hall, December 14th. Get tickets to that now. And then I'm on the road literally January to April. I'm booked, but we'll do those dates later. Please follow me on Instagram and find these dates and buy tickets. Thank you. Twenty six. God damn. But I, who's ooing me? Did you ooing me? 
Okay, okay. Because I, I keep saying I'm not the lead, I'm like, I always do fun. Steph Um, yes, 26, I'm 38. Yeah, okay, so like, what was different about it? Well, big old dog. Shut the hell up. Big old dog. Oh, is yeah, like the this is uncut this. dick. Yeah. The mic. Shut Too the much. The range. Okay. Well, I screamed. <laughs> this is, we were going to have to throw shares out after this. No, this is, yeah, no, this is like, fan, here's the thing. I said I was going to stop fucking no, my fans, and guess yeah. what? Oh, yeah. So he DM'd me on Instagram saying, hey, I saw you on Tinder. Shut up. And then I pretended not to open it. I saw it. <laughs> and then he super liked me on Tinder. I'm out. And I was yeah, like, you know, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's like, it means that they really like you, whatever the fuck it is. But they like, like, they you. really like that, yeah. Um, <laughs> I had a Caesar for breakfast. I'm a little buzzed. I ate very too. Uh, perfect podcast. Um, and then I, I, I matched with him because he was very attractive. Yeah, and 26. Yeah, apps, a lot of apps, too many apps. We had an extra two at the top that I've never seen. There's no such thing as too many apps. No, it was two, they were doing two little podcast. tiny guys. Oh, really? I've never seen just like normal or normal, and two little extras. <laughs> yeah, that's a cool Like two little chocolates you see on your pillow at those fancy hotels. Get out of here. They were like literally two little, I've never seen those extra ones. Okay, so. Nobody else has, nobody else has a right now. I've been out, so when I, started to like really blow up. I was already in a relationship that are now engaged to a man. I don't know if you guys okay. can hear me, but it is. Yeah. <laughs> if anyone thought otherwise, I mean, So I've never had the opportunity to fuck a fan. Plus four, we're not monogamous, which is like rare in gay. You, oh, you are? Monogamous, yes. No, it's which oh, is wow. very, very rare in gay. It is very rare right, in gay, right, right, right. Oh, my so God. I've never had the opportunity to fuck a fan. So when did you, when did this all take off? About seven years ago. Oh shit. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I was doing so I was an elementary school teacher yes. for twelve years, so I was a poor person. Yeah. And then, um, like what grade were we talking? I've taught everything kindergarten to sixth grade. Okay. Sixth grade did make me want to die though. Okay. That's <laughs> where where so, so actually, was this all Detroit? Uh, Detroit, Chicago, and Seattle. Okay. Yeah. Like Detroit, like, but they don't hold shit back. Like those sixth graders, they'll look at you and be like, "Where's your hair going? You broke out of bed." I don't know. <laughs> But, I um, my hair. Yeah, so then so then I was doing um, stand up to make like gas money and stuff and uh -huh. I was just like doing it and then um, I started posting like pranks that I would plan on my students and then it blew up. And oh. then I was able to like tour and like do other things because I had forty five minutes already. Okay, there we go. So I was, like, going about on, going right. What but, were these pranks? Oh shit. A couple things. Like, what's the big one that like really? The big one is I, I did a, a fake spelling test in my class. I made up all the words, and, uh, <laughs> and then I gave it to them. But I did like you can watch the video back, girl. I did not break character like once. I was like they were stressing, and I was like these are real. They're silent letters. These are real. And they were flipping. That's so funny. Yeah, and then it was it was April Fool's Day. So at the end I said April Fools, and they were like it's not even April because like. The day before. Okay, that's hilarious. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Do your kids like you? They did. did. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna say all of them. I definitely didn't like all of them. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, it was like for the most part, it was cute. It was a cute time. Well, they there was a weird body stuff. Like kids doing weird little. Kids, kids are always touching their penis. Our little boys are always pinching and snipping and. Uh, okay, that sounds like I just watched little boys. <laughs> <laughs> That sounded really bad. Again, I'm not Crystalia. Um, <laughs> it is so weird. Like, I honestly, if you're a, if you're getting your teaching certificate, you should also have your nursing certificate because I have never interacted with as much shit and throw up as I did as a teacher. Really? Dude, who said uh, correct? Correct. Like in, poop poop in the pants? Or like just it's in it everywhere on the floor. Every why? Tell me why? Every year, one kid just shits on the floor. Every year, like, without failure, you always have, and then it, they don't confess, obviously, so we were just like, who's the phantom pooper this year, every <laughs> single year. But they do it more than once? They, oh, it's always, there is one kid every year who will do it. I had a kid one time, so we're lining up, we're lining up for recess. I watched this kid shake his leg and a little rabbit nugget just <laughs> out of the mouth. I'm like, you're disgusting. <laughs> but, so okay, gross. so all the perfect teachers little were turn. just a perfect round <laughs> fucking... But all the other teachers, like, they were, they didn't know how to catch the, the phantom poopers when it would happen. They would catch with their hand, they're like, ah, gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. 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 Well, They're like, well, we don't want to, like, hurt anybody's feelings if they're having, like, a problem. Me, in my classroom, I'm like, 
I just paid for a DNA test of that fecal matter. We will know that tomorrow. Scared the shit out of them, literally. But yeah. Scared the fucking shit. Yeah. Thank God it wasn't hard to though. Oh, there's been what? I was like, no. <laughs> it's bad. There's so much shit, piss, blood, vomit in elementary. Which one? Like what grade the most? Teased kindergarten. Oh yeah, well they're not. Which is the best grade though? though, Cause you can't (laughs) mess it up. They don't know school. No, 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 they don't. (laughs) (laughs) They're like, what you doing? We're drunk every day. They're like, the tall man's extra fun today. (laughs) 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 Great. Did you? Okay, so the kids come potty train though. That was cute what you just did. So they they don't. Sometimes I had this mom. She was she. you know, before the kids come to school, it's kindergarten roundup, right? She handed me butt wipes and was like, oh, she doesn't know how to wipe yet. I'm like, she has two days to learn. Like, you, you can YouTube anything, bitch. Like, this is Because I'm not doing it. No. Have you watched the news? Like, fuck. I also would not feel a couple of, she's never met you. Just Here's just wife, for three. wipe my child's ass. Yeah, you six for three mustache. That's death, so, man. yeah. Like, what? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Parents are fucking psycho, by the way. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, I would literally call it, be like, your kid shit himself for the 17th time. We're like, oh my god, we've been working on that. Clearly you haven't! No, you have not. It's I so still bad. remember the shitter in my school, Gordon Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy, reek the shit. But he shit for too long. Oh, no. I'm talking like grade five, he's still fucking wet ass. <laughs> living in his shit. Poor guy, I wonder where he is now. Oh, he's here. He's, the he's actually doing ten. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I bullied him once because he smelled like shit. I threw his, his toque over the fence. I'm so Canadian now. Grade five toque. toque. You probably needed that toque. What's it's a beanie. Toque? It's a beanie. A beanie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Toque. You threw it over the fence. You bullied. I was such a bully. I was, I was impressing Brandon Zaramba, the, the guy in crush. I was fully naked. Right now, we're not even going to bleep out all of these. <laughs> My first kiss, Brandon Zaramba. We kiss. Just a little peck. Wow. And now I follow him on Instagram, he's a really hot wife, and I'm like, if she dies. Ooh. <laughs> I'm swooping in. <laughs> he's too old though, he's not 26. I know. Oh, oh getting God. roasted. <laughs> okay, let's get into your bot stuff. Let's do it. I want to hear it. What's going on? Okay, so the, the weird body part on me is my brain, and this is more fascinating than disgusting. I have the rarest sleeping disorder in the world. It's called Klein's Levin syndrome, and at any moment I can fall asleep from anywhere to seven to thirty-two days in a row. <laughs> Wait, at, at any time? There's no. Anytime. Has this happened before? Yeah, oh well, yeah. How long was the sleep? The longest I ever did was thirty-two days. Ow. Wait a second. Uh-huh. You're a bear. Are you just hibernating for no fucking reason. Yeah, yeah. yeah you okay? Yeah. Crazy thing too is I'll sleep during like huge life events. Like so I was in Detroit, I slept for about three weeks and I woke up and I took this highway. There was nobody on the highway. I got to work and my bosses were freaking out because there was a sniper on the highway that whole week that I was asleep and I took it as the only asshole who took it because I slept through the news. <laughs> You would have slept through the sniper where just goes to shoot you and yeah. sleeping in the fucking car? I met a guy who slept through 9-11. Woke up in a new fucking era. <laughs> That's true. That, that might be like apocalyptic, that kind of shit. It is. Okay, nice. wait, no, no, no. We need to get back on you just sleeping with it. So you don't wake up at all? And, okay, so it is, it's just, it's not a coma. It's sleep. Okay. So I, like, I'll wake up to go to the bathroom. If I'm hungry, I'll, like, mosey to the fridge and then just go right back to sleep. So you're, but you're awake when you're kind of doing that, or is it like a yeah, weird like that, like, you know, when you wake up in the middle of the night and it's just like yeah. fuzzy, but like you're just like, oh, uh, yeah. fuck, and yeah, and then I go right back to sleep. So when you're doing this, does somebody have to watch you through this to make Usually, sure you're like, yeah, yes, to make, and then like make sure I'm like drinking water and stuff. This is the craziest thing I've ever heard in my entire life. Lose weight. It's not oh my god, can I get this? Can you get this? I I would think it was epic. Fuck it was epic. I wouldn't fucking sleep for days. Yeah, it's crazy. Oh, so you don't no exercising, you just wake no up sleep. to eat, drink, and the back. faster way to get out of it is to submit. Just submit to it. The more you submit to it, the quicker you'll leave it. This is bizarre. Yeah, so there is something that's even more bizarre. Um you get these weird side effects when you're in it. And I'm kind of like the spokesperson for this. I go to like the national conference oh, do you? for it and stuff. How many yeah. people have this in the world? Super rare, like a hundred. 
So it's like, are. so the turnout is like the same with us. I give them a lot. These my sleepers over here. Yeah. Um, it's also called Sleeping Beauty Syndrome, which I fully accept. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there's these like side effects that you'll get, and some people have them, and some people won't. And one of the side effects is hyper eating, which I don't have. But one of the ones that I do have is hypersexuality. And when this shit happens, sometimes I'll just like bap it out like a motherfucker. In a sleep. Yeah, in sleep mode. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Wow. Like it would happen one time in college and I would wake up to like get a booty call for a sec. Oh my God. Uh -huh. huh. Isn't that crazy? That's a fine line yeah. there of... There is, uh, <laughs> this is kind of thing I'm, this is, this is where everyone's like, this isn't true. This is totally fucking true. Some people get these like crazy ass superpowers. It's like a neurological thing. And when they're in it, they can like speak another language. No. Just look this shit up. Klein and Levin syndrome. I'm not lying. Who's Klein? So is this, this the guy that started it? Who figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> this guy that just had it. Yeah. This is so bizarre. It is, it is psychotic. And it's so rare that the way that we found out that I have it is because my parents were sending me to counseling across the board. They literally thought I was a drug addict. And then they sent it, they saw it on um, Mystery Diagnosis on like Discovery Health. And oh like, my God. Yeah, yeah, and then they were like, this is our kid. And recorded that on a VHS tape and then took it to the doctor and like, oh, hey, what else? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Holy fuck, so when's the last time you had one year like that? Um, October, what year is it? 2023? Oh. Um, October of 2019. Okay. While on tour, I had to no. cancel a bunch of dates. Yeah, that was that sucked. That sucked. So, do, are you talking in this at all, or do you just wake up and like go? Uh, just like, uh, literally, just like sleep. So, if someone's like talking to you and I'm like can hear it, I'm gonna like very incoherently give you a fucked up answer. Yeah. Yeah. You could totally rob my house during this. Yeah, so, that's what I'm wondering when you're having your booty calls. Like, this guy isn't feeling. They like it. It's yeah. Sleepy sex. Yeah. They like He's it. the next feeling like, extra super into. Yeah. <laughs> I was like. Holy fuck. Yeah. How, what would you eat? Like how much? Not a lot. Not a lot at all. It would be like wake, walk to the fridge, grab some shredded cheese, and like go back to bed. Did you shit? Oh yeah, you shit and piss and you do it all. Yeah. You're, I'm alive, stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I get you're alive, but I'm, I'm just person. so, because when I get up in the bathroom at night, it's like I'm delusional. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, no, I'm like, if I did a big shit, I'm going to wipe properly. I'm like, uh, uh, yeah. then, yeah. Oh, you know, a perfect <laughs> ass wipes in your sleep. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Oh my god. Definitely need people to take care of me. I stink. It's bad. Yeah, so, so showering. Yeah, so I won't shower for like a week. So sometimes, like, my partner Morgan will be like, "You have to. I can't wait." Like, yeah, he, so he knows yeah, all of this. The room just goes like it. farts. It's, it's not cute. <laughs> <I'd say. laughs> well, it's Stephen Beauty makes it seem really fucking cute. Yeah, yeah well, I mean, like, just because I am doesn't mean it is. Oh my god. Yeah. So he goes with so this He's so sweet about it too. He's so nice. sweet. He'll like call my ma managers and agents and be like, Joe's going into it. He'll take care of all of it for me. It's very, very charming. Aww. He's, yeah, he's the best. He's the best. That's, oh, I remember it. Uh, that's fucking wild though. It is. I can't believe this. I've never heard anything. I know. Nobody ever has. And then it's an onslaught of these questions. Uh, yeah. What, what do people normally ask? Am I asking the main hitters yeah, here? Yeah, stuff like that. Like, how do you live? Like, do you walk to shit they always ask me can do shit can sleep do shitting's shit. a lot you can sleep piss you can sleep eat but sleep shitting seems like it's a thing but like without a disorder people sleep shit I like so. regularly i don't know do they has anybody ever slept shit I don't know. no no we have not move on next question <laughs> Yeah. Oh fuck. Yeah, so that's me and my my neurological disorder. I love this. Um, um, so I'm saying brain. I'm like, oh, what was you gonna say? He's so creative. I'm like, I hate <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, Sucks. yeah. Isn't that wild? It is wild. Mm -hmm. And there's no there's no way to find a cure. There's that's it. You but, it. So they're like trying to figure out cures, which I donate my blood to Stanford, which is the leading wow, the leading you know, is over there at Stanford and the University of Michigan is the other. So they are they're on top of it. I think, okay. but they still haven't figured it out. So. <laughs> TikTok, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have you met anybody else with this? Yeah, only the first time I ever did, uh, we met in a Facebook group. I, I was like 19 years old and I got invited to this Facebook group. It was the first time I like talked to these people okay. from like all over the world, too. So half of them are using Google Translate, so it's just a bunch of pish posh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then when I went to the conference for the first time, it was the first time I met them face to face, and it's just like, what? You always like the hug and cry. Yeah, kind of, yeah. Oh my god, yes. Sure. Yeah, like and then we slept. <laughs> 
and then yeah, <laughs> they all slept in the living room. Quiet, friends. <laughs> All pillows on the floor. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So what, do you change your sheets a lot when you're. No, I don't think I do as a regular person, though, anyway. I do, I like. Mike's, I, like I got a friend who won't shut the fuck up about dust mites. She's getting up my ass about it, so now I'm freaked out. Every day she finds a mite. Bird mites. In your own bed? She had a nest outside her window, and a bird mite slipped through, you know, on your screens, how small those screen holes are? Slipped through, got under her bed. A bird mite. A bird mite. A bird mite. I just felt it. Disgusting. And they got under her bed and they live under skin. That's how pandemic started. This is it. This is exactly this is a nice pandemic. No, I'm not fucking with mites. No, I don't do mites. I don't do them. I'm not trying to fuck with mites. I don't want mites in my fucking room. Okay, but that's isn't being a tour horrifying though? Oh, I hate do you it. look at I, every single bed? Oh, I don't yeah. care what hotel it is. It's four seasons, know. fuck yourself. You could have bed bugs. Oh yeah, yeah. And I, the way I'm squirting on these beds, I'm so convinced left, right, and center. I, <laughs> I am leaving some damn mattresses. Uh, did, you ever see, did you ever see this thing called Babe's Squirt video on YouTube? Why have you seen this? <laughs> I'm a fucking freak. <laughs> There's this girl, and it was a YouTube video. You've seen the recent butthole video, right? Butthole video? Literally, I have so much to send you after this. <laughs> this girl's on YouTube. She made this whole video of her, and she's on this live stream, and then she posted it. This is old. This is like, like I don't know, 2000. Do you guys know what this is? And she gets up to the camera, and she's talking to the guy. She goes, hey, Homer, I squirt. I push until, you know that little bead down there? You just push it until you squirt. Yeah, it's wild. And then she, she squirts. And then, and then she holds up this pillow. She goes, you see them stains on there? That ain't pee. That's squirt. <laughs> I even think she says, see how the pillow's stiff? It's harder, harder than a doorman even. That ain't pee. That's squirt. Ew! The squirt video. You watched this too many times. Well, I was actually in a fraternity in college, and that's how that got oh, circulated around. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Were you out in college? I was out in college. I was I even out in the fraternity, yeah. Really? Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Did they love it? Of course they did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're so they, they, they did love it. I was the resident gay. Okay. And um, I don't know, they were, they, were, they were into it. I was into it. It was fun. Yeah, yeah. It was a good time. The young, hard. Boys. I gotta stop saying things like this. Wait, Wait, you haven't seen the recent butthole video. It's viral. What's the butthole video? Do you guys have the butthole video? You did, right. Okay, so this guy made apparently anything goes on YouTube and as long as it's in the form of education and learning. Did you know that? No, I did not. Like you can see vagina if it's a video of live birth. That to that effect. So this guy makes this video of how to properly nair your butthole. And the video starts, and he goes, it's immediate. He goes, hey guys, um, so this is how hairy my butt was before. Literally this to the camera, you can see sack, you can see hole. <laughs> and then he waxes it, he shows you hole again, but he purses it. <laughs> he, he does, he, he, um, he makes it like a little yeah, he like, he can tri what? what was Clutches it? it? What? Yeah, he was Kegels. Anal kegels. So the first one he didn't kegel it, it was like loose no, and open? No, it was just quick hairy butthole, and then he and then he narrated and he shows you again, and it's full asshole, testicles, gooch, all of it. <laughs> On YouTube, millions of views, million, he's doing like, he'll have a Netflix deal by the end of this festival. He's doing this, he's doing the next live no, podcast no, where he just shows his asshole for one hour. you should have his fucking kid. Just for that, but it like makes. But I'm only gonna speak to his asshole. I won't let him speak to his asshole. Yeah, absolutely. Oh but my it, it, god. And it's still on there. Like they're not, they're not gonna take Is it. Is it down. a good butt hole? Um, it's it's not. It's personally not my preference. What's your preference? I, Is there like rollies on it? If he kept the hair, I would have probably it hair. could have been my preference. Okay. But it also wasn't hairy enough to begin with. I'm so sorry, mom. <laughs> <laughs> Your she, stuff. So parents are big, first of all, they're big comedy fans, uh -huh. and they do love to watch literally everything I do. I'll go to a show, I'll tour like somewhere totally random, and then they're like, we're here. Aww. But it's cute, it's cute. I wish I could say the same. <laughs> <laughs> my sister is here right now, wearing my merch like an absolute psychopath in the front row, so that's that. yeah, yeah. She's supportive, but, um, Yeah, yeah. Where are my parents? 
and actually they're watching my dog right now. They actually are. They've seen my dog. Um, I've been seeing a lot of bad buttholes on porn recently. Oh, no really? Care. A lot of loose flaps, a lot of skin male, tags. Gross male buttholes? Both male and female. So you go straight, but straight men and DL guys, I would never touch that butthole, ever, ever. They don't know how to take care of that. They don't no. clean it, do anything to it. It's not a place people should go. <laughs> it's not a place people should go. Do you go there? I go around there. You do. I don't know. I just step on a little something there, you know, something now. You're a bubble finger, aren't you? I, yeah, I think I think there's some vibes I mean. You're dirty. Don't let me have a bubble, bubble fingering energy. To a straight man? Sometimes I like to freak him out and just keep him on their toes, you know what I mean? No, Wait. um. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I, I usually ask. Um, well, well, I that. <laughs> but that's dangerous. They don't know what to do. Oh, no, no, no. My, they think my you can disgusting slob ex wanted me fingers by, and I took my finger out, and it smelled like the worst shit. Yeah. Yeah. And then I told you, I knew he's such a disgusting pig, anyways. Your fault. I know he listens to this, so I have to constantly remind people how disgusting and gross he is. I hate him so much. Um, but it was so gross. Like, you wanted it, and then I was like, and then I have to react, and I was like, <laughs> you know that, like, sour butt smell? Yeah. Oh. yeah oh. I remember. <laughs> <laughs> It's so gross. We don't want to take care of it. We don't. Do I know you. Butt. I would rather I suck your butt right now, even if you didn't. Yeah, it would be the most glorious experience it you ever had. <laughs> It'd be the best butt I could think of. Okay. Also for for Montreal and all the French, no bidets. Is that weird? Have you have you encountered one since you've been here? Me either. I was actually like sort of looking forward to it. Not one. Not one. I thought there'd be one in my hotel room. Can you believe that? One at home. I don't have one at home, but I do love to travel and. Mysteriously find one. I'll use it. There's um. They're everywhere in Australia. One of uh, oh, is there Australia? Yeah, every hotel I was at in Australia had a bidet. Oh. And I sat. You sat. And I loved it. Now it feels nice. It is nice. It is nice. They have warming ones too, which I mean. You that's need just erotica. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> one of my last points, our guest told me that there's one a thing that you attach to um, your shower head. To oh. really get in there, it's like a full, it's like a wand up your ass. This is like commonplace when you like go to a guy's house and then that's just attached to the shower. Oh, you see them hanging around. Yeah, 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 they're just like, I have one, I don't have one, but the people oh, just be like, not here for my arches. <laughs> yeah. Were you in Paris when you do this? What's that accent? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Paris. No. Um, we well, gotta get to my, my fave question here. What What is um the worst body thing you've ever heard? The first one. The worst body thing you've ever heard. Um, so when I was teaching kindergarten, I had this one kid who would not ever, ever listen to me, no matter what I said. And they had an obsession with the monkey bars. But what they liked to do is, instead of swing from bar to bar, they used to play American Ninja Warrior. And as quickly as possible, on the top. And this thing's like... Uh, 10, 11 feet in the air, and this is a five-year-old, right? I literally watched this kid do 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 miss a bar, smack his nuts, if, and then face forward, boom, right on the teeth, and then I went over to help him, no teeth. <gasps> no, but those no were they baby teeth, or they were new? They were, they were little baby teeth, and that's okay. bad, I guess, they said. When oh, you no. when you knock out your baby teeth, that's like not okay, a nice thing. Like that? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It was nuts. I, I didn't ask. I didn't ask about, but, he, but okay. this kid, he was holding both ends. Like, oh. it was a bloody mess. Bloody mess. How many teeth are we talking? The whole thing. The whole group. Every tooth. Girl. Every tooth? Okay, if, this, if this was the bar, he, if he went down, it was. <laughs> yeah, and mouth open because he just hit his nut, so he was like, But if it was oh me, God. I would have called him like, <laughs> Holy fuck. There yeah. must be a lot of flavored accents. Th those are not. So many. There's birds. metal bars, yeah. there's fucking like. Yeah. Slivers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw my first penis ever. <laughs> on the playground. On the playground. Freddie Music. <laughs> you said so many names, right? Freddie Music, literally, he was on the monkey bar. That's a great this. name. No, he was a bad boy. He was a bad boy. That's yeah. a great name. a bad boy. Freddie Music. He jumped down on the monkey bars. He's like, yeah, and whipped his pants down, and then swung it at me. And I was like, ah, I don't know what the hell I was looking at. And now you're like this. Yeah, now I'm like this. Wow. Freddie Music made me like this. I was like, looking at McDonald's French man. is very small and, like, wet looking. Yeah, oh, God. Oh, God. He needed it. 
right across the mouth. Right. Right. So yeah. Did you see four accidents? The other school? kid who did it too, he he did not listen because he had this like really insane monkey bar obsession. Though, but he was the sweetest kid. I was like, oh, it happened to the wrong one. Why can't it have been that one? Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> so have you ever seen these since? Like, one of them like fucked up. No, I didn't see. I saw it when it was like he was like going through recovery and things like that, and he had to use a flipper so he could like once it healed enough. Like it was all. What's a flipper? Um, like beauty pageants and drag queens use it, like it's just fake teeth. Oh, okay. You know, it's like not a permanent like a denture or anything like that. You can just pop it in and yeah, out. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so that was the funny thing too. This kid's five years old and once he recovers enough to put it in, he just comes with a whole fucking horse scrap. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, like this rat in my classroom. I don't have an apple. It was bad. It was bad. Yeah, just giant like, yeah. adult veneers. Like you know what you know Ramsey's smile? Like, yeah, so that's bad. a flipper. Okay. Because that's how she got perfect teeth at five. Yeah, yeah, it's not yeah. real. Yeah. Because it was like, we've come so far in dentures. I know. There was a girl back in in Toronto. Is it, it is what? It was doing music. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was <laughs> funny. Music. Music. No, she got veneers at a young age, and they were literally. I always compare them to Jim Carrey's The Mask. Like they were exact, the exact same size chiclets. It was like. Do you think it was natural? Like they're, they're terrifying. Like yeah. always, like it is horrifying. No. I don't understand. Like because they shake them down. Yeah. And yeah. Now they're good. They look. Or have you ever seen people get braces and then the orthodontist just gets a little too ambitious and now their their smiles just fucking huge? You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> You've never seen this? No. I've been around too many kids who have got their braces taken off, I guess. And then oh, they're just, just mouths are just wide all of a sudden. I'm like, what are we fucking only eating whoppers now? <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. The funniest way that you Question for you before yeah. this has been great. Um, what's the funniest way you think you can die? Uh, I'm not saying that I ever went to work high. I never did that on purpose. But <laughs> one time I was a little bit high at recess duty, and I got this vision that the students because it's a it's a like one to sixty ratio out uh -huh. there, and they're five. And I was like, wouldn't it be funny and horrible? If they got some group thing going on, and then they just tied their jump ropes together, and then tied me to the tetherball pole, and did a whole Lord of the Flies situation, like put an apple in my mouth and started burning my feet with a magnifying glass, and they're just chanting around me, why do we want chicken nuggets? Why do we want them now? I think that's fucking hysterical. I also think that nobody shares that sentiment. I don't think they do. Also, I do still have an active teaching license, so that's cute. Well, this is fucking great. Please check out his podcast, so studies. Thanks for coming out. Fuck Facebook. No, honestly, I really appreciate anyone coming.